We'll start by drawing a tree, a very simple tree, just a stem and two branches. Just first couple of panels is just the same tree, just exactly the same, and then by about the fourth one start um, bringing the little silhouette of a cat coming in from the right hand side. Just the, the head starts to appear first, the nose, and then as you go on, a little bit more of the body. And just keep the cat black because it saves you having to do any details in the body. Just keep it simple. It's all going to go by very fast once you start flicking it. So he's looking at this tree and he's thinking, hmm, I could claim that. So just to make life difficult for ourselves, he is going to claim it and we're going to draw him doing it. So you just take the front paw up, reaches a wee bit further, the second back paw comes up now the second time. Just to remind you that each time you draw a panel, you, you've got one page on top of the other, so you put a blank page on top of the other one, you draw your picture slightly different than the previous one, then you take the bottom page out and put it on your pile face down, so blank side up. So you put another blank page on top, you draw out your picture, you take the bottom one off and you put it on your pile face down. And that means all the pages will be in the right order then when you go to put them in the book. So the cat's climbing up the tree. Just going a little bit higher each time. You could do lots of other things like make him wag his tail and stuff like that, but there's enough to concentrate on. Put his front right paw reaching out towards that right hand branch now. Yeah, he's just stretching that a little bit more. The front paw is really stretching out there. The back paw is climbing up. And now he's hauling himself up onto the branch. He's nearly up onto it now. Pulling himself up onto it. nearly there and it's up so now it's sitting on the branch happy as Larry cozy just wailing away the hours until somebody comes along to bother it so there's uh, Person, stick person, we'll just keep them to a stick person to keep it really simple. Coming walking in from the right hand side, same way as the cat did. And he goes, oh, oh there's a cat stuck up that tree. I must help. So you can reach out the front two arms, front two arms, it's a human, it's only got two arms, reach out the two arms as if it's sort of calling for the cat to come down, come on down, I'll catch you. The cat couldn't be bothered, it has no interest, so the human of course interferes even more and decides, right, I'll come up and I'll save you. So bring the person closer to the tree and you can sort of wrap one leg round it and one arm round it and that's how he's going to start climbing the cat you can just keep it in the same place the whole time so the person's climbing up the tree let them get a little bit higher each time the cat can just stay where it is Now, the person's reaching out towards the cat, going, I can help you. The cat's going, I don't need any help. Now, the 
cat's had enough of this, so it's, it's gonna it's gonna jump down. So it's starting to reach the front paws down off the branch. Person's kind of just going. Uh, I made a terrible mistake, and now I'm stuck up a tree. Cat, just full on jump now. Jump down off the branch. Yeah, there it goes. Meanwhile, the person's st stranded, which you thought the cat was in the first place. Uh, serves him right for sticking his nose in, doesn't it? Moral of this story is leave the cat alone. It knows what it's doing, but far better than we do. Now, nearly finished. So the last couple of panels is just the person stuck up the tree, not moving, getting worried. Let's see how this turned out. There it goes up the tree, sitting on the branch. There comes the person. Wave, oh, I'll save you. Uh, don't bother. Gone. Yeah, I think that turned out okay. So there's a lot happening in that one, it's fairly complicated, but give it a go, see how you get on.